Hey Rad Friends, this video is specifically about how I became a CT tech. Um, I had a viewer ask the question of how do you become a CT tech in America? Well, I can only speak upon myself um, and this is pretty much how it works here, I'm assuming. But the way I, the route I took was through uh, City College. So there are prerequisites that, prereqs that you have to take for a City College because you're essentially obtaining um, an associate's degree. So you have to take like your English, your math, your science, and all those prereqs in order to get in. And the program I got into um, the city college was just once a year, so it was a drawing. So a lot of people enter once you finish your prereqs, and once um, you get selected, then you can take the course. And the course that I took was 22 months to finish the course. It's 22 months, and um, you have to take also... That includes the 180, I believe, uh, clinical hours. So you still have to go to hospitals, clinics, and um, learn the techniques and what you learn in class and apply it to the hospital as a shadower, as a student. So you essentially go intern, <laughs> and which is very important because my clinical hours led me to my CT career because luckily I um, was offered the job as a student to become a CT tech and that's happening a lot now. I see that's happening so much now because CT techs are needed. So they're taking students right out of school. It seems like it's happening more right now out of school, just going straight through from x-ray to CT and just cross training. So, which is great. It's scary. I remember just being scared. I wasn't ready, wasn't prepared. How am I gonna do CT when I barely am understanding x-ray? And that's how I was feeling when that offer happened to me, but I'm glad I took it. And I'm glad I learned because it's taken me to so many places. And um, it's a great career to be in. Anyhow, so going back, so after you finish the 22 months, um, you have to pass, of course, because if you don't pass, then you have to take the class over. I think they take like, even if you don't pass the first semester, you can't continue on to the next one. So you'd have to wait for the next class to start. Um, but I know there are schools out there that gives you a bachelor's degree and whatnot. You just have to find a school that's accredited. So make sure that the school has is accredited. Normally for radiology is the A A R R T American Registry of Radiology Technologists. It's like the organization that keeps our credentialing. Um, so once school is done, you pass school. That's not what you, makes you a tech you have to pass the exam to take your license so once you pass the exam for radiology that's one thing and i'm a tech in california so for california it's more strict so you have to pay for the test do all this stuff plus you have to take your fluoroscopy test and that's another thing of course an additional payment that you have to do not every state requires a floral i think new york doesn't but for California, you do have to have a floral license just because you're doing live like scans under for x-rays. X-rays, even CT, you have floral in um, biopsies and, and um, drains and stuff. Um, and then to be a CT tech, a lot of places you don't have to have your CT license right away, but you eventually have to have it. Um, a lot of places it's just, as long as you have your x-ray you can do ct so you don't have to do your ct do you don't have to have your ct license to operate the ct machine because a lot of x-ray people does ct without ct license but it's mandatory for you to have the x-ray so that's for sure um yeah since you're dealing with radi radiation and i know like for mri if you go to a school for MRI, you pass their test, you become an MRI tech, 
you can't do 